Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54 Chief of Engineers, and I want to be able to welcome to our Engineer Week, 17 to 22 February, and to be able to make sure you understand the theme of this year's Engineer Week, Invent Amazing. Today I'm out here at the Washington Aqueduct, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what our engineers have done. For the last 243 years, our engineers have stepped up for America to be able to make sure we're preserving national security. We're taking care of the environment. We're worried about integrated water management, and we're worried about energy conservation. You know, back in 1851, there was a great fire in Washington, D.C. It was on Christmas Eve, and there was no water system in Washington, D.C., and 4,000 volumes in the Library of Congress burned and a lot of people got devastated. Congress asked an engineer, General Mont Montgomery Miggs, to be able to come and design the Washington Aqueduct, to be able to have a reservoir here that could take care of our water supply. Gravity flowed from nine miles up, the water came in and then processed here and, and, grew, and flew down to Washington, D.C. No electricity, all done by gravity. And at the same time Miggs designed that, he was also worried about rebuilding the House chamber, the Senate chamber, and the new Capitol Dome. That's a mark of an engineer who stepped up when the nation called, had a lot on his plate, but by inventing amazing results, he was able to make Washington, D.C. and the uh, United States a better place. Uh, we see the same kind of thing uh, throughout all of the rest of the federal government in a lot of different agencies. Whether you're uh, uh, in the Department of Defense, whether you're another federal engineer, we still have challenges in this country. And whether it's fighting wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, supporting war fighters in 110 different countries, or taking care of our infrastructure, it's incumbent on us to step up. Even us in the Corps of Engineers. Last year we were doing about a $26 billion program. This year we're called upon to do $48 billion to be able to make sure we're taking care of VA hospitals. We're taking care of DOD facilities. We're taking care of uh, supporting the president on the southwest border wall, and even other things like taking care of the Mosul Dam in Iraq. Hard, challenging issues that we've got to do to be able to step up. And we've also got to be willing to change. Think about how can we be able to provide our uh, projects uh, on time to be able to make sure that they're at the right cost and above all, quality is off the charts. So at the end of the day, whether you're back to where MIGS was several hundred years ago or whether you're uh, an engineer out there, I would challenge you, what are we doing to broaden our own profession? We have a STEM shortage in the United States. It's incumbent on all of us engineers to be able to reach out to people in grade school and high schools and encourage them to follow in our footsteps and to follow our profession because America does need great engineers. And for those of you that are leaders, what are you doing to challenge your subordinates to join professional organizations, to work on their skill craft, continue to be able to have uh, the right type of attributes to what they need to do to step up? And a lot of it goes back to credentials. We have to stand for something. We've got to have the right skill set to be willing to, to uh, step up to these hard challenges. Just today, I signed 150 letters to some of my Corps of Engineers, younger engineers who got their professional engineer license. Not because they had to do it, uh, not because it's mandatory, because they knew the only way they're going to help solve the nation's challenges is to have the right skills to be able to do it. So I would just tell you, whether you're MIGS or whether you're a regular federal employee and a great engineer out there, we've got to continue to engineer solutions for the nation's toughest challenges. We did it years ago. We know we can do it in the future, but we've got to have you on the team and the rest of the team be willing to step and take care of this great country. So I want you to have a great engineer week. It's a super theme, and all of us have got to be able to figure out how can we truly invent amazing. So from the Washington Aqueduct, General Seminite, have a great week.